We're going to talk about sex today. And when I touch on this subject, what I want to do is, when I make my videos, right, I try and make a video that's going to fill in the, the dark corners. I'm trying to be a light in a dark place. All those dark areas that, you know, nobody wants to go into and dig the stuff out, you know, so we can, you know shine a little bit brighter, you know, I'm trying to go in there and get that stuff out, you know, and I'm trying to do it as real, raw, and transparent as possible without, you know, clouding it up with anything that's, you know, fake or, you know what I'm saying, cliche, and when you talk about sex sometimes, you gotta delve really, really deep into the psyche of people, okay, and I'm gonna talk about some things that make a lot of sense to a lot of individuals and when I say that I mean that because um, when it comes down to it right check it out for the fellas right there's a lot of guys out there that have an issue actually even you know maintaining an erection and keeping an erection up they have a problem with actually pleasing a lady and, you know, I've heard from a lot of female and a lot of female friends about males with these problems. And the craziest things that guys don't, don't seem to understand about a lot of things is, as males, we, we really, we're really big and we really, really do. We, we try and, I, I don't know, and even the industry tries to, like, make something of it. You know, you try and focus on size as far as pleasing a female. And when it comes down to it, that has nothing to do with much of anything. Um, it might be able to get you in the door. I don't know. It might be able to, yeah, it might be able to get you in the door. But um, it, it's not going to keep you there. You know what I'm saying? Because the issue is a lot of dudes cannot bring a female to orgasm because they cannot <clears throat> maintain an erection. Like, y'all can't maintain an erection. And... What a lot of females are doing, which is very, very generous, and I do appreciate it, ladies, is a lot of females are, they're being extremely kind, extremely forgiving, and extremely compromising to the fact that at the current moment in time, we are failing to bring them to an orgasm. Uh, I think uh, we need to do a better job at it. Um... I think we need to pay it some more attention. I think we need to communicate more on the subject because a lot of individuals don't communicate on it. You know, you pass it by as if, you know, it's not there. And there's an entire stigma around it, okay? And when it happens, it goes like this. Um, said male sleeps with said female. And, said fe and this happens from... A young age. This happens from a young time on. You know, from your 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. I knew because I popped out of it. And there was a time where I seriously didn't know. And I, knowing it now, I could have went back and did better. But there was a time where I didn't even think females had orgasm. This is like, they orgasm high. I was like, no, they just lay there. We do what we do. And then they just feel good. Right? And it's so funny because the birds and the bees and all this, you know, this pregnancy and all this. Everybody always talks about all that stuff, but they miss the in-betweenness of the situation that might actually be able to change the situation. And when it comes down to it is you have to understand how it is that you need to be able to actually please a female. Instead of only actually just being able to just jump in, jump in, jump in, jump in and let it go. Because the idea is it gets comfortable with them and then they actually think it's normal. And then if all the dudes are doing it, then they're just thinking, oh, I'm not even supposed to have an orgasm. I remember a girl at work one time, she said to me, she was just like, oh, wow. She's like, she said, she said, it's supposed to go more than like 10, 15 minutes. She said, that's possible? And I just looked at her like, 
she was like a prehistoric creature from like, you know what I'm saying? It was like extinct or because I didn't understand that, you know, people still did that. That people didn't understand that depth of things when it came down to it. And a lot of times you got a lot of different situations in there where you got situations where we want to try and salvage our ego and we'll say something like, oh, you did this at the wrong time, so I came, or, oh, you're a pussy man, good, you know what I'm saying, so I came, and that ain't got nothing to do with it. When it comes down to it, we just don't have any self-control. We didn't have any self-control. We couldn't maintain that, that we couldn't maintain that erection and keep that intensity there at that point, and we exploded. We popped our top. And the same exact thing, I mean, the analogy is not, all right, I'm not even going to use that because that's just over the top right there with that one, but what I'm going to say is when we do that, that situation right there is basically us losing our control. It has nothing to do with you because a lot of times females feel as if it's something that has to do with them. They feel as if we, uh, they did something wrong and, you know what I'm saying, it's their fault and it's not. It's not their fault. You know what I'm saying? Once you're there, you're elevated, the energy's going, and everything's pumped up, and you're there, the thing is for you to, you know what I'm saying, link up, connect, and maintain that erection so that you can now please said female. The whole ejaculation thing at the ending point is that that that's an ending point right there. You know what I'm saying? As a male, you have to understand that you you're at the ending point you know you're you're at the ending point you know what i'm saying if you're in there and you're like a maestro and she's like you know she's like these beautiful strings that you're like you're like strumming and you're playing and, and you're both you know you're you're connecting to create like this this wonderful these this wonderful beautiful tune with her but at the end you strum She's supposed to just be singing and having her moments all throughout, you know what I'm saying? And then at the end, you go, you know what I'm saying? And then you might as well give her a, hers and then wait to the end anyway, simply because you only get to go once, you know what I'm saying? You all know you get you, you go once and then you're done, so you know what I mean? Once I figured that out, I, I was just like, all right, cool. All right, I realized that they came because I'm telling you right now, the stigma in their head, and sometimes later I'm telling you something right now, sometimes, you know what I'm saying, dudes just like, they won't be understanding and knowing, you know what I'm saying, that you, that you get it, because I didn't, you know what I'm saying, I didn't understand, it's like, oh, so I was like, man, they come, come from where, you know, they come how, you know what I'm saying, and then once I realized it, I was just like, oh, well, I want to see this new phenomenon, I want to check this out, I, I want you to tell me when this happens, you know what I'm saying, let me know when this goes on, I want to know what it feels like, you know what I'm saying, touch me on the shoulder or something, you know what I'm saying, and like, that was the thing right there. And, you know, that's another thing right there. Communication. Like, communication is huge. Communication is, is um, really, really huge, you know. Every single girl is different. You're not, and that's the thing. Every single girl is different. If you approach every single girl different, like a different combination lock, like a different hiking trail, just like a different, it's just different. You can't. All right, if that girl, and that's another thing, that's that that's another place where we fall off, you know. If you grew up with a girl that was just like uh, aggressive, you know, slam, you know, very just minimal foreplay, just bam, 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 da 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 da, da and then you run into another girl that's like more on a softer tip, and she likes it when you just it. You can't satisfy both of them the same way. You're not gonna be able to satisfy both of them the same way. And you are gonna be telling yourself like a lot of guys do, oh man, I got man, I got her off, no problem. And then she used to come, 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 and you know that happens. You know what I'm saying? And now I'm over here with this one, and psh, I don't know what's wrong with her. You know, I'm this, this, this. It's just like, mm, did you acclimate? Did you did you acclimate your game? Did you switch it up? Did you see if she liked that slam bam, super bam bam stroke, or did you? You know what I'm saying? Or did you, you know what I'm saying? Or did you switch it up and try and, you know what I'm saying, give her something a little bit soft? Because every single female doesn't like you to try and, you know, um, you know, um, you know, blow the back of their vagina out every single time. You know what I'm saying? Actually, you know, it hurts. You know what I'm saying? If you talk to some of them, they'll tell you it hurts. You know what I'm saying? But 
during sex, a lot of times, <laughs> and some fellas probably ran into it, you'd be doing it, and they'll be like, ah, 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 and you won't actually know that they're actually in pain until you actually look at their face, because you hear it, and you think they're enjoying it, and you're going, and you're going, and you look down, and you're like, oh, she's not, she's actually in pain, I'm just, and <laughs> you go, and you, are you doing okay? She's like, oh, oh, no, well, you're, you know, and sometimes they don't want to, you know, they're trying to please us so bad that they don't want to, you know what I'm saying, that they, you know, sometimes they, you know, we end up hurting them and they end up not saying anything and stuff like that. So you got to, you got to communicate, you know what I'm saying? You got to communicate on that level, you know what I mean? And when it comes down to, you know, premature ejaculation, a lot of times you got to understand there's a psyche that goes on there with every single individual. And when I say that, it goes like, when it comes down to premature ejaculation in a male, that usually stems from something like masturbation. You know, if you see a, a male and he's masturbating consistently or every day and he's doing this and, you know, if you don't, you know, if you don't, which you shouldn't be anyway, but if you don't masturbate on a kudalini energy meditative type of level to try and make it rise and, and onk it and so on and so forth, then you're just shooting right off, then that means you're just going doing whatever you're doing in one, two, three, four minutes, whatever you can get it off, and you're doing it really, really quick, boom, you're doing it really, really quick, boom, now, but you're doing it really, really quick, ah, 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 every time you quick, and then what happens? What happens is, as soon as you get inside of a female, you do the same exact thing, and it stems from the masturbation sequence of zoom, zoom, zoom. And then when you get inside her, you're like, uh, 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 Where do you go after you go, uh, 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 And then she's going, uh, 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 uh. And then you know when she goes over and you feel all excited, you feel all excited, boom. Right? That's how it goes, right, ladies? The, the, the energy, the, the, the whole entire thing. What are y'all doing? You're syncing up. You're syncing up. You're syncing up immediately. And you're, uh, 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 u
you know, you have to look at certain things, you know, if, you know, you're with said partner and said partner doesn't seem to be connecting with you on a certain level, you have to ask, you know, them a certain question, you know, you have to see, you know, you have to see what's going on in their head where you got, where y'all, where y'all missing, where y'all can't link up on that certain level, you know what I'm saying, because it's very, very necessary, it's very, very important, you know, I don't care who you are, you're not going to be able to link link up and set up and, uh, you know, do what it is you need to do on that level unless you and your partner are both in the same exact spot. You know what I'm saying? You have to actually be able to tune in to that spot. You have to actually be able to, you know what I'm saying? Both both have to actually be there. So when it comes down to sex, you gotta, that's another thing you gotta do. You gotta basically, you gotta keep that in mind. That's very, very important. Um, I actually, uh, I actually remember I, uh, a while back when I was uh, dealing with a, uh, I was dealing with a girl, but she was from outside of the country and she had came inside the country and she was totally different than a regular girl because the way I actually handled her was rough. It was in a very, very rough manner. And actually during the act, she actually asked me, she was like, what? Are you trying to hurt me? And it just totally just caught me off guard that she like she she like you know she felt like I was hurting her or you know you know trying to hurt her you know and she's like are you trying to hurt me and I was just like no I'm sorry and she just wanted me and she was like easy like I, and I was just like and you know I never had to do something like that before you, you know what I'm saying like I never had to. I never had to, to, you know, take a step back. I never had to take a step back and go a different speed. And not only did I have to take a step back and go a different speed, I had to take a step back, go a different speed and enjoy it and be into it and have that new experience and feel it and be good about it. Why? Because I still need to maintain a reaction so I can get this job done. <laughs> so, you know, right there in that moment, it's just like, it's like taking a lion who's like tearing, a, tearing something to absolute pieces and just eating something. You know, it's, yeah, it's just, it's the equivalent of that. And somebody coming over and going, up oh, here, here's that fork. Here's that knife. Take your time. Cut that into cubes and chew it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, chew it. And you're just sitting there and you're just like, you know what I'm saying? And, and so... That's another thing that plays on into the whole entire experience, you know, with um, sex and pleasing your partner, you know. Everybody go has been into a dark place at some point in their life, and a lot of times people understand that dark place is usually, yeah, usually, it's usually there in the bedroom most of the time, and everybody has a demon. Everybody has their little sex demon and everybody's demon has to play along, you know, when, you know, when that time comes, you know, everybody's, you know, little demon has to play along, you know. I used to say that, I used to say that all the time, every single time it was time to play, I used to tell people all the time, it was like, that's your demon, that's your little sex demon that you play with, because basically it is, and I don't mean that on like an evil level, I mean that on like a little spiritual level, you know. You know, you could say it's your little sex angel, but, you know, I don't want to tarnish the angel, but, <laughs> you know, but the both of yours, you know, they got to, you know, they kind of got to get together and like, you know, toil together, you know what I'm saying, and do what it is they do, but that's basically the way I look at it when it comes down to this whole sex thing, but like I said before, when it comes down to it, you, you just, you can't deny the fact is that in order to get the job done, you you need to be able to maintain an erection. All this stuff out here that they got now, the Cialis, the Viagra, and all the other stuff, it's literally here because they know that you can't maintain an erection anymore. You know what I'm saying? I figured that out when I came off of steroids. Once I came off of steroids and you know my dick didn't work anymore, and, I went all natural and I went vegan and 
you know, I came back, you know, better than ever. And I was just like, oh, okay. So now I see what I was doing the whole entire time. Now I see how it's fucking everything up. And I'm telling y'all right now, I mean, like, the, the, the premise was real simple. Like, a, once I figured out the formula, man, it was like, it was like a video game. You know what I'm saying? It was like a video game. And it's like, you get in that video game, it's like, ding, 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 ding. You know what I'm saying? Ding, ding. You know, you get her off like one, two, three, four times, you know? But after you get her off, like, I don't know, you get her off like a couple of times, then after that, you know, boom, you hit like level two, you hit that bonus level. You know, now you go crazy, bro. If you want to like toss her up in the air and, you know, swing her from a chandelier, you know, and do whatever it is you want to do and then drop it back down and put the leg up in the air. Ding, 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 boom. Oh, she had another organ. Listen, that's great. That's a bonus. That's that's great for her. You know, who cares? Who cares? I don't care. But that's great for her. But that's the, you know, and then you just keep on going. Oh, I want to Oh, she would look good like this. Oh, this, oh, oh. Yeah, you just keep on going. Oh, she had another orgasm. Ding, 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 You know, you just, you know, but the idea is, you know, get, just get them off a few, get them off a few times first, you know, get them off a few times first and focus on that. And if you, if you think that you can't get them off or you can't talk to them, ask them because they're all not the same. I, I had one girl that you, I, what, she, she, she honestly, she just was not into oral sex at all. She just needed penetration to get off and she would not, she could not have an orgasm from doggy style. She just couldn't have an orgasm from doggy style. But if I was on top of her, she uh, in missionary position, she'd have orgasm in two minutes. But she couldn't have an orgasm if I was straight up giving her clitoris no stimulation. Only if I was laying down really, really close, giving her stimulation at the same time. Get her off in under three minutes. So, but did you hear everything I just said? That's like a formula. That's, that's like an entire formula. <laughs> get what I'm saying? <laughs> you know? That's an entire formula right there. You understand? And then there was like another girl. It, it You know, I, it, she would... I, I could go extremely fast, extremely fast, extremely fast. And then nothing would happen. And then I'd go slow. 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 Like I was feeling or looking for something. And then right in that moment, she go, I'm coming. And you know how I found that out? I'll tell you how I found that out. By goddamn mistake. You know what I'm saying? By mistake. It went like this. I was going. I was going. I was going. You know, like, I got tired. I did. I got tired. But I ain't got tired so tired that I kill over stuff. No, I got tired at the point where I just, man, let me just change speeds a little bit. And I was like, yeah, uh, uh, shoom, jump, 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 jump. And she, uh, uh, uh. And I was just like. Well, damn, I think I'll just stay right here. I think she likes this. And I was like, boom. Did she have no again? Totally different situation than the other one. You know what I'm saying? So, when it comes down to it, you got to you gotta pick and prod. You got to, you know what I'm saying? You got to you, you gotta pay attention. You got you to gotta talk to them. You have to, ask them. you have to ask them questions. You have to ask them things. You know? You have to understand certain things about their psyche. They don't tell us everything. Sometimes you, you, you have to pick and prod. Sometimes it gets deep. Sometimes it gets real, real scary. You know what I'm saying? I had a girl one time that we had like three sexual encounters and I just thought it was really, really odd because usually it's just, usually, you know, I don't usually ask, you know, usually girls, you know, she gives you, gives you head, you know, I usually ask. After a few times, I was just like, hi, right, something's not right here. Let me just, you know, <laughs> let me just inquire. <laughs> and then, and I, you know, I went and I inquired. <laughs> and then she was just like, well, well, why do you want me to do that? And why did this end the third? And I was just like, I don't know where this is stemming from, but now is not the time for this. And lo and behold, her uncle used to make her do that to him and she just felt about it when I asked her to do it so she had an issue in that area and me asking or inquiring 
brought it up. And so, that's an issue right there. You, you gotta inquire about that. Sometimes it's, sometimes there's certain things underlying that, you know? Sometimes you're wondering why you can't get your lady off, and it's because she's blocked, you know what I'm saying? Maybe what it is you do reminds her of something that she doesn't want to think about. You know what I'm saying? So, these things go really, really deep, but think about all those things. Think about everything I said. Think about the psyche of all that. Another thing I want to go out there is, um, you know, ladies, if you got to, because some of you ladies, you know, got you have a problem and issues with men masturbating. And I never understood it before, but I do understand now. And the crazy thing is, when you go into that mind state, when you have to go into that world and you have to go and masturbate, and masturbate on yourself. The thing that you should ask ladies in the situation is not so much if he's masturbating. It's more like, oh, you're masturbating? Really? <laughs> One, what for? Two, why? And then three, which is really, really important, to what? Because th that's the thing right there. What is that? What is that too? You know? Because that that is another disconnection in the bedroom that we don't pay attention to. And that's the one where if you are masturbating off to, I don't know, two black guys, DP and a white chick, or two white guys spitting, choking on some black girl, or uh, just a gang of guys just, just tag teaming these two girls, or just a whole group of guys just coming. It, what are you... You know, you know, what are you, you know, what are you doing that to and how often are you doing that to? Because if that's what you're training your brain, your sensory organs, your, your pleasure centers and everything in you to actually fire off and enjoy and please yourself with, then that might cause, you know, some kind of rift in between me and you because... I may not represent those things that hit those pleasure centers. You get what I'm saying? So, just some things to think about. I know how I do. Later.